What's going on guys and welcome to episode 15 of this Pokemon Wonderlock Challenge. In the last episode, we saw BD break down this barrier here to reveal, possibly, the real lore behind Galar. In this episode, we are going to... Hold on, let me find the top map. Find your way through the Glim Wood Triangle to reach Lunia. Okay then, that's a name. Uh, let's go ahead and get connected to the internet. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to happen in this episode, guys. Uh, probably catch some more mons, trade some mons off, and uh, build our team here real quick. And let me, because it has been a while since I've loaded up this game, let's go ahead and do a quick team recap. We have... Lanoon, the Lanoon with whoops. With Night Slash Rest, Parting Shot, and Knock Off. Next we have Lucario with High Jump Kick, Metal Claw, Bullet Punch, and Aura Sphere. Uh, then we have Sadie, the misnamed Shady, and Pelion with Snapshot, Liquidation, Water Pulse, and U-Turn. Next, we have the Cinescorch with Flame Wheel, Leech, Life, Bug, Bite, and Bite. And almost rounding it off, we have the Mimikyu with Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw, Leech, Life, and Destiny Bond. And I believe this is the last one, hakma O, the hakma O with Dragon Claw, Dragon Tail, Counter, and Protect. Yes, it is. Um, so let's get healed up here real quick. Everybody looks nice and level 40 or above and I'll tell you what guys going into this I did not really know how to feel about some of these trades that I got like the Mimikyu I never played with a Mimikyu before and I wasn't sure about it um, I knew it was an interesting Pokemon that they revealed in Sun and Moon but other than that I didn't know how to feel about it um, Never played with a Hawk Mo either, so J Mo was nice. And really, all the evolutions I never really played with, so when we lost Chase, that was very, very sad, so. Let's just put my sadness away. Oh, and Lucario. I also never played with a Lucario before that, so, you know. So I, I guess, you know, with this being a new gen, as well as everything else, um,. It's nice to see the usefulness of all these Pokemon, and that, that's really what this whole walk is about, is finding uses for mons that you didn't think that you would have uses for in the past, especially with um, some of the ones that are not well known. So. Let's just go ahead after we get our everybody healed up and on our way to the next city on our trusty bicycle. And once again, guys, I believe this is going to be, this is actually, I don't believe it is a new era, the Glenwood Tangle. Um, so with that being said, let us. No, don't want to battle with anybody right now. I'll leave that for later on. Let's see if I can. Oh, did I go the wrong with the wrong one? Okay. Um. That's difficult though. I believe I can do that. Full heal. It's not bad this mid game, I would say. So let's just back up and see what this mod big group. Not again, not a bad group. Not a bad thing. As we face these two, let's see what they have. And uh, so yeah, that that's what's been going on lately. Nine thousand curly up. Hmm. Our psychic duo. That nine tails is going to be trouble for. Mario, so let me use Night Slash on the Night Tails. 
switch the Lucario out for the... Let's hock my O get some time heal. Here. Um, you're really not seeing the battlefield except for grinding montages, I'm kind of sad to say. But Jigma O was kind of frail. I'll be, I'll be honest. Uh, Jigma O was kind of frail. Let's see. Oh, I forgot Fairy was... Fastest mile on the field, that should fuck Curly up. Alright. Now, with Curly gone, our, the main problem here, Nasty Butt, uh, Ninetales should not be a problem. Oh, no, he's trapped. Oh no, what did the attack interest? Dragon Claw there. Quick attack. Not gonna be that bad because once again, with Curlia gone, crit. Nine Tails was just on borrowed time, so we get through that double battle relatively easily. Uh huh. Scorch and put it on Hakuma O. Find it again. Uh huh. I really got through that without... <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because when I originally played this off the air, or off screen, uh, it took me forever to get through that area, so uh, let me go. That was a little too quickly. <laughs> Looks like I will be battling a gym trainer after all. Uh-huh, let me just... get our encounter here. Ooh, TM. Snore. Not bad. Come on, where is... Oh, oh. Here we go. And the encounter for this round is... Notic is the next Pokemon that we are going to be trading off. Um, so, with that being said, okay, Google, pick a number between one and six. Pick a number between one and six. So we will be training the Shinoda guard three times. Um, so, with that being said, Grass Fairy, that could have been really bad, because I forgot Dragon is weak against Fairy. Um, but, not nah. that bad. The 
space there, but that's alright. Uh, it's into a box. And now let's get back to where we are. Alright, so. Disconnect this time around, but that's weird. Connecting, please stand by. Okay. Um. really hate doing this two episodes or three episodes in a row, but I'm going to wait until this finishes uh, f connecting. So, uh, never mind. <laughs> I almost said. Uh, so, let's make a quick cut here, but no. Um, I really need to trade this back to the trades, but for now, you know it's the Shinoda. that out off screen so we won't be treading the shinotic away quite yet but that's all right um just means i can move it into the proper box um so like i said i forgot that it looks like lanoon is gonna have to be the carrier in this episode as well because I forgot that this was that Hakma oh what the dragon type is weak to very first second so um now the sound voice or the sound moves won't be too much of a problem but Everything else will be. Um, and again, I think Center Scorch will be okay here too because it does have a dark move. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I need to grab my sidekick. Okay. No, maybe this is a battle for Mimikyu, actually. The Ghost Fairy? Pokemon. Um, so let me put it back in my bed. Take the Amulet coin from Hakamo and give it to the Mimikyu here. Um, so this should be interesting. Now. Opal is the oldest gym leader in the Gala region. She took over for her mother 70 years ago and has kept the position since. However, she feels that her own values have bleached their limits and thus she is currently looking for a worthy successor. She claims that she gives deliberately tricky quizzes because people reveal their true colors in a pinch. But many speculate that in reality she does not. She does it out of pure spite. Okay. So that is who we are going up against in this episode. I really did not think that we'd be 
doing the gym challenge that quickly, but I forgot. Oh, Circle City. You've got four gym badges already. I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Look, even more Pico is wary of you. Wait, more Pico, don't tell me you're actually like Circle City. Ugh, oh, we've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to do. Nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? Now Marini's league card. What's with that look? It just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many gym challengers left, so you know, so we're meeting for in the finals. You got that. Alright. Mm. The ball guy. Gotta to talk to the ball guy. Hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. Is love in the air, or is it just this Pokeball here? Try it out and see for yourself. Obtain the love ball. Okay, then. Opposite gender of your Pokemon. A low ball is useful, opposite injury of the one that you sent out to the battlefield. Alrighty. Jim Challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? Then please change into your uniform in the locker room. This will not be a mission, so so much as a test of your quality. It is very it, it is a very serious examination. Okay then. Dope. That uniform looks good on you. Now relax, clear your mind, and go break a leg. As we enter the fairy type gym. Which fairy type is very interesting. Ever since they introduced it in the sixth gym, or the sixth um, region, the sixth generation, uh, it already has two gym leaders. <laughs> interesting. Ah, there you are, my dear. Gym challenger. There you are, my dear Gym Challenger. Though you are really lacking the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take the role of the gym leader here. So my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Oh, don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering, though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh, but if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now, I want you to go out and show me what you can do. Alrighty. Now let the gym mission begin. Battle with all your skill. Okie dokie. start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. That sends out spritzy. Okay, I'm one of those weird Pokemon Gen 6 that I never really understood. Let's shadow sneak it. See how effective this is going to be. Drain this. It's not going to be very effective, especially since I still have that disguise up. Disguise breaks. And I lose 14 points. Question. Do you know about fairy tech? It is... Poison? That's right. One of fairy types we is the poison type. Attack and special attack rows. Oh, so this should be easy. Shadow Pokemon. Bye, Spritzy. Critical hit for no reason. Spritzy fainted. <laughs> All Pokemon get set boosts. Gym Trainer Slurpuff. Um, hmm. 
I switched my Pokemon. No, I will keep the current Pokemon, I think. Slurp. Doesn't matter if my speed's lower, I have priority there. Slurpuff fainted. <laughs> that one was too easy. Sadie, we're to level 42. Jim Chowder and that has been defeated. That's 6,528 dollars left. I see. Can't say what Miss Opal will think, but do you got at least piqued my interest? Alright. Okay. I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last don't worry about the last question. Let's keep it moving forward. Okay, but I got the last question correct. Why would I not? Swarlex. Okay. This cotton candy Pokemon. It is not good to think about food when you're hungry. Uh, Squads. Dragon Kiss again. We'll probably do 14 here. As disguise is broken. Yep, did 14. Question. What was the previous trainer's name? That one. Correct. The previous trainer's name was Annette. So we get two boosts, speed growth, okay, that's pointless, Shadow Claw, though. Shadow Claw, last one. Lanoon grows to level 39. Aromatisse, we'll switch Pokemon, yeah, sure. For the heck of it, we'll switch. We'll switch into Lucario. Let's see how much of a problem I, am, I have here with a Rotisse. Okay, so that's, that's what that is, okay. So Metal Claw. Wow. Bye. <laughs> Aromatisse has fainted. Pokemon oh, getting experience. Mimikyu grew to level 43, of course. Alkmao to level 42. Teresa has been defeated. To be cautious and wary, that is the trick to, to survival. 6,500. Don't worry about right or wrong, just keep moving forward. Okay, okay. But I was right. <laughs> By the way, I'm two for two on the questions. I'm next. I think you might have what it takes to become the fairy type gym leader. Okay, okay. I don't believe so. Oh, 
Scorch Boot level 43 paradise. I play a strong trainer. I'm a method actor, so I become a trainer in real life too. getting switched all over the place right now. <laughs> but it's important that we have to. So we get extra money. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the gym mission. Now, I wonder if you met the standards of our gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader? Challenge our civil city. Yes. Alright then, head on in. Give my regards to the gym leader. So, as we get ready here, So this episode has just been another big uh, gym leader battle, so let me pause the clock here, because we will run out of time after this gym battle. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at you, how you handle those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. I'm on you right now, though. He is pretty strong. Yeah. 
experience level 44. Fairy on fairy. Here's my thing. Fairy on fairy. It's going to be neutral both ways. Now I have my ghost typing to help me out here. So I think as this gets, if it turns bad for me, then I will just focus on. I'm not from Cario. Good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still, not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry about yourself, child. It'll just matter. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next gym later elsewhere. In fact, I've already got, a deal, uh, got an idea about where to look. Too bad about the audition. Here's the fairy badge for your efforts, though. And there it is, our fifth gem. Badge. Right there, we are ever close. 
closer to the tournament. You can now catch the Pokemon up to level 45. Take this to the end of the two. Granny Kiss. Not a bad move to add to Mimikyu later. And lastly, here are some of your hair and a little more pink. And we got the very good from Awesome. Anyway, as soon as. Of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but folks like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. Team up with us. The next gym leader is in the chest dire. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We got our fifth gym badge. And we learn all about new Pokemon typing in this episode. And that will do it for this episode. Until next time, guys, we have our marching orders. Bye.